What's up guys? I feel like half the day has gone and I haven't even started my video. <laughs> uh it's already one o'clock i just came home from work and i'm about to go to the gym i wanted to get a workout in before three because that's when it usually fills up and i do want to try to film so let's see how that goes i've been to the office today so i made oatmeal for breakfast and i made a sandwich for lunch and now i'm just having this um chocolate snack -a jack like rice cake for a pre-workout. This is so good. I actually think I'm going to have two because there's two left in the bag. Matt had some more work to do, so he will probably, he's probably on his way home now, I guess. And he's uh, coming to the gym right after me. And after the gym, we're going to make dinner and then we're going to Ikea. So that's the plan for today. I don't even know what we're having for dinner yet. We will figure that out after the workout. Yeah, hopefully there won't be too many people at the gym. So hopefully I'll get to film, but we will see, or you will see in two seconds. For dinner, I'm having uh, what uh, we could find <laughs> at home. <laughs> oh, so, <wow. laughs> yeah. <laughs> so we had some left of uh, bread. So I had that with egg, um, avocado, one corn on the cob, and one like dessert slice with cream cheese and jam. So that's today's dinner. Matt's is uh, even more random. <laughs> A bagel, some olives, some ham and cheese, corn on the cob and um, scramble eggs. Yeah, that's <laughs> good though. It does it's look like good. snack plate for dinner. But I should have had something on the actual bagel store. The oh. egg? Yes, I yeah. can do that. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, he has just been fed as well. So we're not going to Ikea today after all. After dinner, you know, you get really tired and just want to stay home. But we have started making a bagel loaf from Joshua Weisman's book. It looks delicious. We showed you this in another vlog and Matt made the grocery store white bread. Yep. And we were going to make that today, uh, but we ended up uh, wanting to make a bagel loaf instead. That's my phone. <laughs> That's my sister. <laughs> okay. I'm off the phone. <laughs> <laughs> I don't remember where we were, but we are. We have mixed the flour and we have made the the um, bloomed the yeast. Yeah, I've never seen a yeast mixture bloom like that. No, we've ne I don't think we've ed ever done that. Maybe we have. Maybe we have never had the right temperature. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. It's a jeez. Look at that. That's crazy. 
Can you even see? You can, yeah, look, you can see this part is like yeah, foam. This. And oh, the reason why we thought about it as well also because we have this which we bought in uh, New York. In New York. Yeah. So we can. We had forgotten we had it, but now. <laughs> yeah, I have used it every single day now. <laughs> yeah, and now we're gonna make bagel bread. Yes. <laughs> So uh, while he's mixing that, I'm just going to go get something that I... We have a couple of new chocolates that we bought that we want to test out uh, in today's vlog. Yeah, I want to try that before I start mixing because I need to do it by hand. Yeah? Okay. Yeah. yeah, okay. Um, dime? I don't think... It, dime is a European thing, so... I think so. Yeah, so you, US people will probably not uh, recognize this, but dime is like um, a crispy hard caramel with chocolate around. And they came out with a lemon version yeah just now so this is completely new and they've not been a brand to kind of make different things except no. for like a uh, half they, a year ago they came out with uh, a coffee a cafe latte La yeah and that was kind of surprising but yeah. we, we didn't get to test that out sadly but um yeah this one we got oh there it is that's good mm. lemon to me is pound cake yeah, that that's a uh, that was so, really good. I'm, I'm surprised. Dime, yeah. you wouldn't think dime mm. needs anything, but the lemon uh, to it was actually really I, good. I didn't I didn't think I would like that because I'm not really a lemon person. No, but oh, oh, that was surprisingly good. Yeah, wow. Mhm. Mm Shame it's limited edition, though. No. Yeah, I think I would rate that eight and a half. Yeah, I, yeah, I agree. That's not enough. Yeah, I thought when I bought it that it would be a six and a half. <laughs> yeah, but it's, but it's an eight and a half. We have another brand that has come out with another version, and this also never has anything else. No. So the, um, I think this also is European. Toffee Fee. Toffee Fee is probably one of my favorite snacks, but. It's not one you usually buy. No. It's one you usually, you get it at other places, at other people's homes. Yeah, or you buy it at the airport or something yeah, like yeah, that. Yeah, yeah, or you buy it as a gift or something. But they're so good. And also, one other reason why I usually don't buy this is, if I eat one of these, I need to eat every single yeah. one of these. <laughs> well, I think I bought some of them from an airport once. And I did end up eating a whole tray during that yeah. afternoon. Regular toffee fee. That's... To me, a very dangerous snack to have in the house. Yeah. But they came out with a coconut version, and that intrigued us both. And I'm a coconut lover, oh. so this is this is gonna be great. It smells kind of like artificial coconut. Oh yeah, it smells kind of like a hand cream. And and it's usually a toffee and um, hazelnut inside. Yeah. So I'm betting the hazelnut is still still there. Yeah, I think there was a picture of it on the. Mm hmm. Mm, yeah. Mm. So you can see it's like a coconut creamy layer, and there's the hazelnut inside. Mm. It's good, but the original is better. Yeah, I think the original is better. Mm -hmm. But that being said, it's pretty good. Mm -hmm. I'm at least giving this a seven and a half. It's kind of like a coconut yogurt. Oh, it, it, it's exactly like Inside? coconut yogurt. Yeah. Mm -hmm. What did you give it? Seven and a half. Uh, no, eight. Eight. It's good. The regular toffee fee is a nine. Yeah. <laughs> mm -hmm. This is a um, eight. Yeah. It's an eight. eight. It should be had more coconut flakes in it. And yeah. Flakes. Exactly. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. That was uh, this. Uh, that was today's taste test. I've also learned from Joshua that mixing by hand, yes, it's going to be sticky, but if you just stay calm, it's going to sort itself out. Mm -hmm. <laughs> like the, the stickiness disappears. Yeah. And we have a mus mascot here as well. Always present. Always present. Did I say what we're doing? Um, no, I didn't no. say. We are not going to IKEA, but we are going to make this to rice for an hour. And while that rises, Ra is there another word? Rises? Rises? Is there another word? For, um, while that chills, <laughs> <laughs> we're going to bolia. 
is it is it Norwegian? It's Swedish. It's Danish. Mo most likely Danish. Danish. But it's a um, furniture store. It's very classy. It's expensive. It is expensive. Everyone buys when it's on offer. Yeah. It's like we will show you the prices when we get there. But there is a couch in there. We, we it's it's uh, right by where we live. And there is a couch there that's just beautiful. And we've seen it through the window every time we walk past. But we've never gone in to see how much it costs. So we're doing that today. It's probably gone now. <laughs> yeah. It's been there for like a year. Yeah. But Bolle has maybe oh, some of the most pretty furniture. And also like the like the interior and everything is like spot on. If I could buy everything from there, I would. But I would also have to sell my soul. But yeah, we'll show you that when we have put this to chill. When we put this to bed. <laughs> There it is. The couch. Looks damn fine. Yes. Any guesses on the price? You'll display the price. <laughs> I just man cave. Here. Yeah, my man cave. I just come here and brood. <laughs> Very feminine man cave you have here. <laughs> I have nothing to prove. <laughs> so, so we're back from the most beautiful furniture store in the city. It sure wasn't like here. Yeah. <laughs> no. <laughs> It's, uh, it's kind of crazy. And uh, the couch we were interested in costed uh, 61,000. That's. Uh... And the second sofa I sat in yeah. was 100,000. That's a car. That is a car. That is probably two used cars. So $10,300 for a couch. That's. That's a lot. But they, even the people that work there say. Don't buy anything until we have a 30% sale. Yeah. So it's like... They always have a sale. Yeah, that's always. Yeah. So we were there for exactly one hour. So now the Doha S. Proved! That was what Proofed. I was thinking about. It's proved the dough. Yeah. Okay, now we're going to punch this little ass down. Okay, who should I imagine this is? Uh, but it's a uh, butt. So he's, he's bottom right there. Tiny little button. <laughs> <laughs> I want to do that, huh? Buddy! <laughs> so now he's going to roll it, knead it, and roll it into a, a loaf. Yep. And then, then we're place it in this, and it's going to chill in this one for 15 minutes. Yeah. And then we're going to boil it. Yeah. Because bagels are boiled. I've never boiled a dough before, so that should be exciting. <laughs> That's rolled. And place it in this to chill. Cover it. And then we just let it chill chill out for 15 minutes. The dough felt 
Perfect. Perfect. Yes. Never had such a fluffy bear. <laughs> Not gonna lie, I'm a little scared of flopping this in <laughs> boiling water. <laughs> but, um, and there's no, I, I haven't seen any technique on how to do this, so I'm just gonna have to kind of wing it. Maybe you should throw from a distance. <laughs> <laughs> As you can see, um, our pot isn't big enough. No. <laughs> but that's why we have to turn it. That is so weird. <laughs> <laughs> Who boils bread? <laughs> Who puts dough in water <laughs> and boils it? That looks so weird. Looks like we've gone insane. <laughs> <laughs> it does. <laughs> I think I'm going to snap this to my family. They're going to think uh, okay, we're do that. mad. Now it just, it looks like shiny and disgusting. It does look it disgusting. It's like skinned, sweaty skin. Oh my god, yeah, it does. <laughs> <laughs> that looks horrid. I'm gonna... <laughs> it looks like something... Uh, no, no, no one can say it. What is it you're thinking about? Judge for yourself. <laughs> I have uh, high expectations, so no pressure. It fluffed up. It did fluff up. I wish I could help, but I'm holding the camera. So this you know. looks. I think you're doing a good job. So now this uh, goes in the oven. Yeah, we need to put the uh, bagel seasoning on it first. Yeah, bagel seasoning, and then in the oven for. Twenty-five minutes. Twenty-five minutes. It's a beauty. It looks good. It looks very good. The the seasoning hides all the imperfections. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It's in for 25 minutes, but maybe we should have a meal. I'm having oats with casein protein powder. So I think we'll have that now while we wait for the bread. But we will taste the bread. We have to. We have to. For my oats, I'm having um, casein powder with a cinnamon roll flavor. And on top, I'm having biscoff, and this is almost completely empty, so I have to scoop. I have to use a spatula to get um, everything out. No biscoff will go to waste in this household. And I'll have some banana on top as well. Yeah, I'll, I'll have that as well. This on oats, game changer. We, we bought three of those in Miami. Yeah. And... We have used up one, or he has used <laughs> one. So, a little bit of that, a little bit of salt, and that is my final meal. Not counting the bread. Not counting the bread. Mmm. Oh my god. Yum. So the, the loaf is out. The loaf is out. Look at it. <laughs> Looks beautiful. I'm pleased with that. I mean, and, it, and it's uh, crispy. Yep. So now it's been resting in a um, tin. Tin. And now it's going to just rest on a r wire rack. I'm looking forward to cutting into this. Me too. That's going to be good. It's not completely cool, but we can't wait. We can't wait. <laughs> If I didn't know about it, that looks perfect. That looks perfect. It feels very soft and moist. It does. Butter and salt. Yes. All right, ready? Yes. Should we start with the crust first? Yeah. That's like the bagel consistency. It's like um, chewy. Your head is cut out of frame. Oh. Yeah, that's oh, that's so good. It's so soft. It's, again, it's like a cake. But yeah, but I mean, when it cools down a bit more, I think it's going to be even better because it's going to become more light. Mm. But it's still going to have that chewiness to it. But yeah, the topping, the, um, the everything but the bagel seasoning, that gives it a lot of flavor. It does. Mm. It's very nice and chewy. Wow. Imagine this with cream cheese. Mm. And lox. Mm -hmm. Norwegian salmon. Mm -hmm. I'm pleased with this. It's beautiful. And it didn't take too long to make. Mm. It was quite easy. Mm -hmm. So um, I think all in all, two hours. 
with cooking and prep. Yeah, two and, hours. Yeah, proofing. Yeah, so yeah. yeah. Yay. <sighs> I don't know if he has the bagel recipe on his YouTube channel, Joshua Weisman, but it is in his book. Yeah. If it's on if YouTube. It's not, if it's not on YouTube. Even if it's if it is on YouTube, you should buy his book. Yeah. We will Wasn't most likely ninth. make every recipe in that book. And check out his channel as well. He's uh, he's awesome. He's really cool. Okay. That was today. I'm uh, ending it here. This is a one day vlog. <laughs> Hope you guys enjoy the vlog. Give it a paw up if you enjoy it. <laughs> okay. I'll see you in the next video. Bye bye. Bye bye.